California sea otters are dying at an alarming rate. Around 10% of the population won't even live throughout the whole year. This is 10 times greater than the Alaskan sea otter population decline. There's all kinds of different things that kill various sea otters, but the, the, the common connection between those things is that many of them seem to have connections back to land and are potentially getting into the ocean through uh, wastewater, such as runoff. Um, and this includes chemical pollutants, such as DDT, and includes biological pollutants, such as parasites and bacteria. So it's this common connection of things coming from the land getting into the ocean and either directly or indirectly impacting sea otter health. Dr. Miller has found a parasite called Toxoplasma gondii in 40 to 60 percent of the dead otters that she examines. One of its primary sources is quite surprising. Toxoplasma gondii is found in cat feces and its eggs can be transported from land to water by flushing cat litter down the toilet. So this is one muscle cell that used to be a muscle cell and now you can pretty much see it's a bag of parasites. Once, sea otters flourished from Japan northward all along the Pacific Coast Rim and south to Baja, Mexico. Sea otters had been hunted extensively throughout the North Pacific for their fur, and in 1911 they were finally protected under the International Fur Seal Convention, but at that point the Californian otter was thought to be extinct. A small remnant population was rediscovered uh, in the late 1920s, early 1930s uh, in the Big Sur coastline, which at that time was, was essentially um, inaccessible. And all the animals today in California are descended from those approximately. inhibits an otter's fur in terms of insulation and buoyancy. Since the otters along the California coast inhabit such a small geographical area, a single oil spill along the California coastline would be devastating to the population. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord.